A very good morning to you. We continue in 1 Peter 1 13. So much to learn there. Our heading, it is a good argument. For you are begotten again unto a hope most full of life by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Wherefore, gird up your lions. If it be so that there is this new life in you, a life eternal as the life of God, then be not cast down. Pull your girdle close about you. Keep yourself free from the oppressive cares and temptation of the world and stand with holy hope, expecting the coming of your Lord from heaven. That is a good argument, is it not? Your election and your regeneration call you to holy living. So firstly, for you the harp of gold, for you the starry crown, the endless victory, the sight of the king in his beauty, for you the sitting upon the throne of Jesus, even as he has overcome and has sat down with his father upon his throne. Courage then, brothers, if this be your destiny, if within a month you may be in heaven, if within a brief period you shall be exalted to share the rest of your Redeemer, do not be cast down, nor overwhelmed with trouble, nor dismayed by the aboundings of sin, nor even by your own personal temptations. Gird up the lines of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end, for your end must be glorious. A good argument, isn't it? Secondly, then Paul uh, Peter goes on to say that you are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. God himself surrounds you as with a wall of fire. Now listen to this. Until omnipotence can be vanquished, until immutability can be changed, until the immortal God can die, not one of his chosen people shall be destroyed, kept by the power of God. What power can destroy us? Application. Wherefore, brothers, be brave and confident. Shall such a man as I flee, kept by the power of God, shall I tremble? If the power of God keeps me, shall I reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man? If the power of God keeps me, shall I be hopeless? And I just say, Lord God, as I pray, that we know by faith and the hope in Jesus that in the end we will be victorious. In Jesus' name, Amen.